Can you tell me where I... Okay, you're just gonna walk away. <laughs> I've never seen a ghoul that's like wearing clothes and stuff like that. That's interesting to me. We gotta explore this mystery just a little bit further. Right? Find out why the ghouls is wearing clothes. Maybe they ain't as dumb as they look. Though I doubt it. There you go. See, just line them up and knock them down. You gotta feel kind of bad for them. But not really. They swung first, you know what I'm saying? I didn't start the fight, I just ended it. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, over here. Oh, hello. Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry. Who are you? Are you barking out orders already? I don't even know your fucking name. Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Get up here. You looking for a fight too? Alright. Get moving. I'll see you soon, fucko. This boy gonna learn a hard lesson today. I'll tell you that much. Good god. Look at all this. Ghouls and uh, big purple things. Oh, I hear ya. Hey, come on down and say hello. I think that fella said I need to go to the... Oh boy. Oh. So I need to go to the east side of the building? Alright, there you go. Lay down. Lay down, stupid. Couple more caps for my trouble. Yeah, it's just so many of these dudes. How did they get here? Shut up. You stand there and roar at me like you're fucking somebody? Tell you what, I ain't got fucking time. Hmm. Plenty of books. Metal boxes. I don't think there's anything in any of these. Ah. A little bit of wonder glue. I'll take that with me. Paint gun. Again, looks kinda heavy. I don't know what the fuck I would do with it. Hello? Anybody in here? I'm gonna get lost in this place. I guarantee it. Hey, hey, hey. Is somebody who could be my friend? You wanna be my friend? Play a little ring around with Rosie? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. A little bit more picking. You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose. And you can pick a lock too. Ah, shit. I busted it. Alright. There we go. Piece of cake. Just need to jiggle it around a little bit. Everything's gonna go just fine. My god. They are uptight about security around here. Hey, make sure you lock all the doors. Don't let anybody in here. Uh, luckily, I had the foresight to buy a couple of lockpicks before I showed up. I don't think this computer's working. Power button does nothing. I don't have the science skill to be able to repair it, so uh, we'll just move on. Hmm. Anything out here? More dead undead? Do all these hallways look the same, or am I fucking losing my mind? I guess I should keep taking these uh, these energy cells just so I know which dead bodies I have passed before or not. I suppose the open doors are also uh, a pretty good clue. Hey, I hear something about this here safe. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's old Nick. Mortal cap. A fucking butter knife. What? What do you think I'm gonna do with this here? Stealth boy. Now, what is this stealth boy? I remember the the thing that I got traded, this thing on my wrist, they call it a pit boy. And the stealth boy seems to strap on in a similar fashion. I assume it'll give me stealth, but how is that possible? 
I'm not like a scientist or something. I guess uh, if it works, it works though, right? Can't go up this way. Guess we'll just keep wandering around. Like we're fucking crazy or something. Maybe I was crazy to come here. Hey, friend. See? You get to jump on them every time. They should, uh, you know, swing or something. If somebody comes up right behind you with a giant fucking club made of concrete, you should swing on them. Don't just wait around and be like, hey. Hey, I'm scary, right? Yeah, but also, I got a fucking giant club made of concrete, so... We'll see how this is gonna turn out for you. Oh, goodness. Quite a few, uh... Little tools in here for me, huh? Bobby pin. A little bit of wonder glue. Sensor module. I'll take some of this as well. I don't know what I'm gonna use this glue for, but you know what? It's never a bad thing to have some glue with you, right? Especially Wonder Glue. Wonder's right in the name, for God's sake. This big fucking toolbox, and guess what? Just one bobby pin sitting at the bottom? Yeah, right. Okay, then. Ah, turpentine, conductor... I don't know what I would do with any of this shit. Hmm. Is that computer working? Yeah, look at this here. Public server access. Public kitchen. How about? Hello everyone. Please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Also, remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening, so date your food. Why would you leave your, your food at work over the weekend, right? Good lord. What a policy in this company. At least in Gamora, they, they cook for you. You know what I mean? That was the nice part about it. Now I'm out here eating fucking mole rat steaks and stuff like that. Ah! Welcome to Rob Co. Greetings, fellow Repcon employees. I am happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Rob Co. Starting tomorrow, we will be an official Rob Co. facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. Thank you for all your time and welcome to the Rob Co. family. This seems like a corrupted email. Rabco Supply, let me say how excited I am about the merger. It's super to be a part of a company as exciting as Rabco. Have we got any kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Rabco think of next? Let me know if the shipping came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't. I bet you I could have a lot of fun with these things. Interesting. And here's a private server. Interesting as well. But I shouldn't read somebody's personal emails, right? That's that's just bad form. Hey, there's a Nuka Cola. I didn't even drink this Nuka Cola. Threw it in the trash. That don't make no sense. Oh. Here's some more friends out here. Hello, hello! It's just me. And I told you it was me. Why you gotta act all surprised? Ah! I'll throw your arms up in the air. Like you just don't care. Oh, good lord. Hey, friends! How's this? I am liking this club! It is, uh, a sight more effective than, uh, my little knifeys, you know? The knife's kinda, kinda nice, you get a little more personal with it, but the club is also pretty cool. I won't say it's not exactly personal, because you do get to see some people's insights. <laughs> hey, I think this is, uh, where they told me to go, right? Go east, and then go up the staircase. Alright, well here I am. Unfortunately, I cannot pick this lock. The bobby pin won't even fit in there, so... We need to find a key somewhere. Alright. Where do I even start with that shit? Ah. Maybe this is more trouble than it's worth, huh? Good lord. What the fuck is this? Dead cows everywhere? 
Hello there. And these giant purple things all seem to have a Reebok club. I do appreciate it. I ain't gonna say that it's not like the best weapon that I ever used because basically it is. Look at this, almost repaired the full. Oh yeah, we gotta crack some skulls. Dog meat, pre-war money. Are we supposed to go down? Hmm. I'm not sure what's happening. Now this is uh the loop around. This is the way I came in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. Where did I hear that from? Hello? Hey, if you're gonna try and fucking talk tough, come out and fight like a man then. How about it? Hmm. So it seems there's an up and a down. But where would I look for a key? I guess up. Because then you find uh, executive offices, stuff like that. So let's try and pick this lock hanging off the fucking the side of the edge. There we go. Piece of cake. Look at this. Executive office. Speaking of... Ah, this safe is a bit too complicated for me to figure out. Well, uh, how about that key? Might that be somewhere? Ah, some cigarettes. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Count the cigarettes. Administrate the terminal. Yeah. Hi, Steve. We finished converting that old generator room into storage as you requested. If you need to get access to the safe, the password is R3PCON. Thanks. And thank you. Can't say I'm surprised you're retiring. You're a divas worm that started all here all those years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame. It might as well be your old friend. That waste spill never would have happened if you didn't push the team so hard or if you paid for actual competent personnel. I'd be happy to take my retirement package. Good riddance to you and this forsaken place. Ooh, a little bit of salt. My goodness. Storage room safe. Well, if we could find a storage room, that'd be nice enough. But I'm pretty sure I need that key. There's no input terminal or anything like that. I could also just say fuck it. I don't really care what that, uh... The intercom fella had to say. Hey, hurry up, come up here. Who are you, my fucking mother? Right? I don't even let my mother talk to me like that. Good god. Hmm. I don't think there's anything up here. Maybe a dead body somewhere. Hey, how about the intercom? Yeah, we should ring the intercom. That's that's the All ticket. Right, smooth skin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. See, that's the problem with old Nick, right? He doesn't like to interact with people. He doesn't really wanna wanna ask for what he needs. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Talk like a ghoul. But you are not a ghoul. What the fuck is this? Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin? I mean, your skin looks pretty smooth to me. You're looking a little old, you're looking a little ragged, but overall, compared to a ghoul, pretty smooth skin, right? Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. This fucking guy. Oh, and now he's just cowering. Yeah, you know who I am, don't you? You heard of me, haven't you? There he goes. That is... that is strange. I don't know what is going on in that fella's head. Now, who is Jason? Where is he? Why should I care? Ah, it's the ghouls. The ghouls in the clothes. Hey, everybody. Sorry, we don't talk to outsiders. Talk to Jason if you have business here. Can you tell me where I... F okay, you're just gonna walk away. Are you Jason? 
Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Ah. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? I don't know what what the fuck you talking about, alright? I kind of just wandered in to see what was going on here because it sounded interesting. Uh... First things first, my name's Nick uh, from Gamora Casino over at Duke Vegas. If you want to come by, have a good time, I'm sure one of our girls would be happy to assist you with your uh, glowing penis. So, uh, might you tell me who you are? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Hmm, your name is Bright? I mean, that's... You gotta admit that's kind of funny, cause you got like, you know, you're glowing and stuff like that. I get it. You give yourself that name? An that's cool. Name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now, before the Great War even. Truly, does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us? Fascinating. So. What is uh, this great journey that you're going to take your little flock on? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons? You're talking some crazy shit, man. Tell me a little bit more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Uh -huh. One of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. And you, you said one of the demons raved at you? What is that? Like, they pull out some glow sticks? I, I should think that you'd like that, because, you know, your head's glowing and stuff like that. What are we talking about? It went on for hours, and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Eh, uh, why not? I'd like to see this through to fruition. Alright, I'll take care of you fucking demons. I want to see what you're talking about, too. Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. Ah, uh, yeah, the enough of that. has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. Yeah, I'm not usually one to, uh, get involved in these religious practices, right? Obviously an upbringing like mine. I'd shy away from such things. However, I'm quite interested. You've interested me with your story, friend. Your plight of woe. I gotta figure out how to go down to the... The basement? Is this the basement already? Where are we going? What is happening here? Hello? I don't know if I want to fall down the hole. Ah, too late. I slipped. I just slipped. I don't know. So, I will also have the creator bless me. You know, if you leave me to the, the basement, that's great. I'll take care of the nightkin. If you leave me outside, that's also fine. My goodness. Hey! You fucking talk so tough, come on out here! See? They never do. They never do. Hey, but I got some Sunset Sarsaparilla. A little bit of Nuka Cola. It ain't going too bad. Heh <laughs> heh. What's in the fridge? Hmm. A little bit of fruit. A little bit of juice. But not any fruit juice. 
All right then. Well, is this the basement? Cause that's the front door. I'm quite curious. I should probably go get this radiation taken care of. But I want to see the demons. Somebody show me the demons. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.